absolutely incredible to think that these 13 individuals survived more than two weeks in a cave without any real food, uh, just very little water, and that they are now out, all thanks to this huge effort, all these rescue crews out here from around the world to make sure that they can live another day, live a long life, and, and complete what they've uh, wanted to do in life. And just behind us here, I'm going to take a step out of the way. We believe this is the 10th child, possibly, who is showing up here right now at the airport. The helicopter left a little while ago, and we've already seen the ninth show up here outside the hospital, and we're waiting the rest of the team. Uh, we're also, uh, we need to keep in mind that, yes, there are three Navy SEALs who are still inside, the doctor who's been watching over them, so we hope they get out and they can all celebrate as a group. The Thai Navy SEALs on their Facebook said, uh, said hoo and we cannot wait to celebrate with the entire group. The folks out here all have their camera phones out, just waiting for that moment to finally get some more good news to see these wild boars, if they, as they've been calling them, start to roll through here, get into the hospital and get some care finally. There were some reports that a couple of the boys were in the hospital battling pneumonia. Do we have any sense of their medical condition uh, after this ordeal? Yeah, that seemed to be the one thing that we heard about, that two of the boys from, yes, uh, from the first day uh, had some respiratory issues, might be pneumonia. The four from yesterday, though, not the first four, but the four from yesterday, all seem to be in great condition. They're all wanting food. One of the funny things that we heard is that some of the boys from the first day said that they wanted uh, chocolate and bread, like Nutella, and the doctors gave it to them. So it's these little things that are keeping their spirits up, and they're hoping that they can probably see their parents here soon, too. Yeah, I was going to ask you that, Jeff, because I, know, I think it was yesterday you were reporting that it might be 24 to 48 hours before they could see their parents. I know those parents are like, absolutely no way. They are probably so excited to see their kids. Any any new information there? Yeah, can you imagine not being able to hug no. your kids after they've been uh, in the hospital for or in the cave for one two weeks? That's an ambulance right there. That's the tenth kid pulling up right now here outside the hospital in Shanghai. Just amazing to see this in person, and amazing to see so many people out here. Uh, just waiting and watching for all this good news that uh, seems to be trickling in hour after hour here in Thailand. Jeff, great stuff. Thank you very much. We'll come back to you uh, as, as things develop, but great news all around.